morning. All my colorful friends out there, I hope you're doing well and uh, everything's going good for you. I'm out here <clears throat> outside going to do some uh, cement projects. I've had several in mind that I wanted to do, but the weather here in the south, it's just been so extremely hot. It's been hard for this old lady to even get out and take care of her yard. But this September morning, it seems to be a little cooler out. Uh, as you can see, there's a breeze blowing, feels good. I actually have me some cold tea. Mm. Good southern sweet tea. Oh, you can't beat it. But uh, I'm gonna start some projects. I've already got several of the uh, projects lined up and ready to go. Uh, I didn't show the basics of how I did it because frankly it probably would have been boring and I was working with wire frames and uh, <clears throat> excuse I may have used a little uh, naughty words because I, I kept poking myself with the wire and ding ding me did not uh, Put any gloves on to work with that that wire which mm, safe tip wear gloves if you're working with wire but anyway i'd had a request to see if i could make like a cactus out of cement i go for out in the yard so boy that's been going through my mind how and how do i wanted to do cactus with cement and uh, i actually have looked at lots of pictures of cactus and of course, I wanted a cactus flower. So here a few weeks ago, I did have this ideal that I went to the dollar store and uh, just got some, some cheap flowers with the th thought of dipping them into cement for my cactus flower. Well, unfortunately, that idea fell through. The, the cement just flakes off and just did not did not work so that in with the heat and all that just kind of put my whole idea of doing cactus on hold but since then I've thought and thought and I've come up with some other ideals for cactus plus I have some other projects that uh, I wanted to start so I'm gonna take the camera off of me so I can walk through what I've got set up before I get ready to mix my cement up. Okay, so my ideal now to make my cactus flowers is, get it up here so you can see it, this is the bottom of a soda, soda bottle and I put a wire in it. Uh, I've got it rubbed with some oil to help it release easier and I plan on doing some really thick cement and I'm gonna come back for maybe the spoon and hopefully kind of make it look like petals in there so that was the idea I came up with for my uh, for my cactus flower. These are my frames that the wire just really liked to ate my hands up <laughs> while I, I was making it. <laughs> Plus I'm using soda bottles and some aluminum foils to kind of get my, my rounded uh, edges. At first I kind of wanted the, the cactus that had, I call them the arms, an arm on both sides. But now we're going to have such a big cactus flower that'll be on, on the side uh, of it. I've decided they will just have one arm on them. And this will be the base, probably not that deep, deep, but that'll, that milk jug will come off. And I, I've got some pebbles that I'll put around here. For the, on the base of it, and 
the other things that are going to go if I walk, walk this away with me. Excuse the fact that it is getting fall and leaves are falling and I haven't swept them up. But I've already cut out some strips of old fabric. So my idea is after I get the frames set and it kind of at least semi dries some, then I'll soak these strips in it for my first layer of the cactus. Then I'm going to come back with some thicker, thicker cement after that dries, the cement and the sand, and uh, kind of make my grooves. Now, <clears throat> you can't have cactus without little sticky things. So, I got doggies walking all over here. Hi, Kaylee K. Kay. <laughs> so, a friend actually came up with this idea of using the bristles off of a, a brush to make, and which that's pretty sharp, which to make the cactus uh, stickers, thorns, and all. So I have to cut these off before I put my last layer on the cactus frame and, uh, and, and paint. I kind of think I want these to stay white though. I don't want those to get painted. You know, one of the other things, I had already tried this once. My idea was I wanted to do some rubber duckies because who doesn't like a rubber, who doesn't like a rubber ducky? But I wanted some rubber ducky done in cement for like a paperweight on a desk. So I did one already and I used this. And I wound up, I did have to cut cut it to get it back out. So I'm going to try another one. I know it's going to leave a little ridge in there. But I can always sand it. But the first one, one I did, he got decapitated. <laughs> he was decapitated as... I got him out of that mold, but I was able to go back and fix his head back on, and I think it's just adorable. Oh, I can't wait to get him some more done and get him, get him painted. But I think that's that'll make a perfect, perfect paperweight and gift, maybe a Christmas gift for somebody. I'll seal them really good, uh, and these will probably go into my eBay store because. This cement project will be easy enough. I can ship them. <laughs> I do have some bigger duckies over there too. And all. And I also get around that I don't trip and fall. I also, when I was at the dollar store, I noticed a doggy to squeaky toy that's a cupcake. So I've cut the bottom out of it and to use it to you sit in there you were sitting in there to use it as a, a mold okay the first projects i'm going to do is just going to involve cement without the without the sand just portland cement get over here another doggy down here on my way that's old picasso Say hi, Picasso. Come on, old man. Yeah, he's 11 years old now. He's like me. Say, we don't move real fast, do we? Can you speak? Picasso, can you say hi to everybody? Come on. Talk. 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 He says, maybe later. Let's get back on with this. Okay, one of my loves of crafting is crochet. And I kind of gave up on putting craft boots in and all because that's a lot of work for one person to try to set up booths. That's actually why I have this pop-up that I've decided, you know, it was sitting out in the garage doing nothing and it would keep the sun off of me a little bit. But 
I have done some of the dipped just in cement things so my ideal is I crocheted this the other day and I'm going to cut that little tag off right right there in the center but I wanted something that had a lot of ruffles on it and I'm hoping to stiffen it up and put a like a pillar candle in the middle you know maybe spray it with some pretty holiday day colors yeah and if you saw pictures i didn't really do do well i did in one of my cement videos but i didn't show it when i finished painted i did the uh the plush with the flower pot and made the pink poodle that turned out much better than i really expected it was really hard to paint so i had in mind how cute would a turtle be holding a flower pot well of course you know when you want something and you're looking for it you can't find it so I did find this plush ladybug. Boy, I've already got dirty cement in my fingers. And I have gloves. I should be wearing my gloves. But anyway, <clears throat> the idea is I'm going to soak him in cement. I'm going to weight him down. Put a little oil on the bottom of this so he won't actually sit. And then I've already done a draped flower pot that I need to kind of reinforce with a little more cement on it. So uh, I'll set that on top of him. It would look prettier if, I had, if it held out a little bit, wouldn't it? I don't know. Anyway, but this will all be done first because these, these two projects will just use uh, cement with no sand in it. And then when I get ready to do the others, I'll have to mix some sand in, in with it. So I'm going to turn the camera off and put my gloves on. That one's got a hole in it. But put my, put my gloves on. Keep my hands out of the cement, even though I've already got it under my nails. Put my gloves on. Have a little nice cold tea. Mmm. Good tea and get started before it gets too extremely hot out here and as i progress i will show you what what i got done yes i really have decided playing and cement is like when you were a kid and you uh, made mud pies i don't know if you did that or if kids even nowadays go outside to, to make mud pies but uh, those two projects are waiting to dry. And now I'm mixing my cement with sand for the cactus projects. Well, first I want to do the flowers. And I want it kind of thick because I'm going to use that spoon to make my, my petals. So I may already have it maybe a little more water but see it's still it's kind of smoothing down there okay so i'm going to mix this up a little bit more maybe just a hair more water in it to do my flowers so i can use that spoon and uh and make the petals i've torn my gloves <laughs> <laughs> this is my the fingers out. <laughs> so, so this finger. Luckily it's not the bad finger. You know. But hey, that's okay. I'm not I even though I'm old, I'm not breakable and uh I, I wash. So I'm gonna add just a little bit more water to this and uh go ahead and try to make my flowers. And then I want to thin it down some more to pour in the base, to pour in the rubber duckies, and to pour in the base of the uh, cactus, and then put some rock in them. And uh, hopefully, if there's enough left, I want to put an extra coat on that that draped flower that's going to go on top of the lug lug bubble. Okay, so I'm mixing, mixing, mixing. Well, I'm done for the day.
done for the day. The sun's out and it's really starting to get hot. As you see, it's sunny on all my stuff. I still need to put my rocks around here. I started putting them over here, but it was still a little too wet, and so they're all sinking. So, yeah, I need to, need it to set up just a hair, but I've got my rubber duckies all done. The stuff that I just soaked in cement's done. Done. I actually had some left, so I tried a different deal. That will be one of my elephant ear leaves over there covered so I've got quite a mess my poor gloves took a licking <laughs> took a licking I think they're done for it I'm gonna throw them out with the empty bag of sand so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and put my rocks in over there real quick and everything's good to go for today it'll just have to sit here do need to sit in my box of cement back in the uh, in the garage because I don't want it to get wet. So have a good afternoon, and hopefully tomorrow morning we'll be out here and be able to take my uh, my cactus out of the deals. I'm not I'm not sure if that's going to really happen tomorrow because sometime or another I got them on my yard. So anyway, I'm done for today. Uh, good morning all my colorful friends out there uh, I'm here to show you the good the bad and the ugly <laughs> of some of my September projects so yeah yeah some turned out extremely well some turned out meh you know so anyway plus I got really scared because after I did my original pour uh, of cement <clears throat> it came in a terrible storm that night and I was worried that everything was just gonna get totally washed away but it didn't so let me go over first my cactus frames that I set in the cement a little disappointed because I was worried my rocks were gonna sink they didn't sink in the cement <clears throat> but most of them are loose and, and came off and these are not so crooked as they look because the tables are uneven but yeah I may have to hot glue some more rock down here and all uh, the flowers the cactus flowers uh, not so good but I'm hoping maybe when I paint them they'll look a little better uh, two of them the wire actually came loose on the back so, I'm hoping with a little extra cement, I'll be able to uh, get them to stay back up, up on it. Hold on, I can move them over where it's a little flatter. So, so anyway, getting ready to just mix up some cement to go on the strips of fabric to get my start to my original start to uh getting getting the shape of the cactus together and uh, uh, i brought another old sheet out just in case i didn't have enough strips cut but uh somebody decided that was his bed out here so that's okay got me some new gloves ready to go actually had this I'm gonna bring this out because a lot of my cement has big clunks in it and I've been having to break it up so I'm thinking maybe that I can smush it through but anyway that's where we are on the cactus hoping I can fix it where the cactus flowers will stay and wrap them with the fabric and then they'll get ready to uh, to to put the final coat of heavier cement on it. I'm, I think I'm going to have to go get some more sand. I'm running short on sand. Plus, I'll be cutting the bristles off that brush to, to put in the final coat. Okay, rubber duckies. Rubber duckies. This was my original rubber ducky that I made that I decapitated. And then I, I taped 
the mold back together as like that one was and found out it it came out okay there's a little bit of where the seam is but sanded it's not so bad but the other ones that I made <laughs> I guess I got in a little hurry too big of a hurry or either that or maybe I needed the seam in a little thinner but I didn't poke down in good enough so most of them none of their little beaks showed up so I'm gonna have to when I do again because I had to cut, of course, I had to cut them all to get them out, you know, but as you see, the tape doesn't leave that big of a seam on it. But I got to be sure that I work it somehow. Maybe I'll, I'll use a little wire to make sure I poke and get the seam in, in the beaks. So that was disappointing. You know, he was okay. I guess because he's smaller, it went down in there better. So I do know that it can get down in the beak. So that was disappointing. The cupcake. The cupcake, I did not realize on the inside was all smooth, not ridgy. So it didn't really show up. It just, you know. So I thought, and of course I had to cut it too to get it out. So I thought turning it inside out for the next time would work but since I cut it the other way I don't think I'm going to be able to tape, tape this booger back together since I got it at the dollar store in the toy the dog toy section I think I'll just get another one and turn it inside out before I pull pour so I make sure I get the little ridges in the cupcake because, like I said, I didn't, I didn't even think about it being smooth on the inside so my ridges wouldn't show up, you know. So, anyway, lesson learned, lesson learned, lesson learned, get my wire in better, lesson learned. Okay, and get back over here. Getting out. Oh, yep, got my southern sweet tea because it's starting to get warm out here. Mm. Very good, very good. So, my ladybug turned out not halfway decent. I'll smooth her out a little bit when I attach the drape flower pot because I'm going to have to thicken it up. For some reason, I don't know whether it was the fabric I used in this. I haven't had this much problems with my fabric on my other ones being so, so loose. I may have to thicken that up before I even try to put it. I did try to put a little more on it. But it just doesn't seem to want to be thickened up good enough. You hear all kind of noises going, the neighbors mowing and stuff going on. But <clears throat> my crochet turned out pretty good the way I wanted. Nice big thick ruffle on it. So it, it will hold a candle. I'm going to dust it off, get all the loose cement off of it, like right in there through that. Need to get get that little piece off. Get it ready to paint. I think I'm gonna paint it in some really pretty, maybe metallic holiday colors. Okay. The one thing I wasn't even planning on making that turned out extremely well that I just had the leftover cement was the leaf. I did wind up with a hole right there, and it was kind of thin right in there. But that's okay. I think I will be using it as a bird feeder, so it really does need the drainage. But yeah, yeah. And I put the I put the motor oil on my leaf, so a little tip that made the leaf come off extremely easy. I see so many videos where they have a hard time getting uh, the leaf to to break away from the cement. But if you set, put the motor on it, motor oil on it really thick, it seems to work really good. So that 
That was good. I was really pleased with the way my leaf turned out. So, anyway, I'm going to get ready to put my fabric strips on there. I did pick this stuff up at a uh, at an auction. So, after I do that, and while I'm waiting for that cement to, to set up a little bit on that, I think I'm going to go ahead and put some of this on my leaf and maybe on that to, to seal it up, up a little bit. So, yeah. Anyway, my neighbor's talking to me, so I better go. See you in a little bit and show you how my progress is going. Okay, I have these cactus guys pretty much wrapped with some fabric. I want to let it set up a little bit and then I'll come back with a little thicker uh, cement to put my uh, my thorns in. These two over here where the flowers had broken off of the wire, the wire came loose. They're going to have to take a little longer because I had to kind of prop the flower on there and do some some wrap with them you know and also i'm gonna let these set up a little bit and uh then come back with some thicker thicker stuff and meanwhile i'm gonna go cut those bristles off that brush maybe go inside to the air conditioning because it's starting to get warm out here so anyway i'll keep you in touch i'll keep in touch with what's going on everyone i'm getting ready to get started well actually i've already started some out here. I hooked me up a fan because frankly it gets really hot <laughs> and all. Uh, but uh, I kind of started putting some paint on my leaf and the uh, candle holder. Uh, I wanted it more of a, a stained look than a solid look on the leaf. So those coats are drying. I wanted to make a pedestal for that leaf to sit on to use it as a bird feeder. So I have this old thingy, thingy, thingy here. <laughs> uh, and it fits really perfect right in here, but I don't really want that old ugly looking thingy, thingy, thingy out there. So I've cut fabric and I'm gonna do one of the drape deals. Uh, I've got to stabilize it first. It, it just wobbles, wobbles, wobbles. And and so I need to, first I'm gonna cut some straps, uh, strips and see if I can get it to dry and stabilize a little bit more, you know, and then do the the drape down, down on it. And then I've got to get these cactus done. Uh, I'm only gonna work on these two because I'm almost out of sand. <laughs> And uh, these two are going to their new homes next weekend. So, uh, yeah, I've got to get them finished and uh, painted so they can go to their new home next weekend. The other two were just two extras, the ones that the flowers didn't sit on real good. So they can wait. Ladybug can wait until I can go get some more sand. The drape project over here doesn't need sand because I'll be using the fabric in it, so we're good to go on it. I did cut all those little bristles, which wasn't an easy thing to do off that brush. Actually, you kind of almost have to do them one at a time or they go flying all over the place. So, so yeah, the, the bristles are going to go in when I get the thicker cement on and be my little thorns so and no more ducky projects right now so mostly just get my frame ready so i can get my leaf set up on it and uh brought some smaller tools out here to to work on on these and again it's not that crooked it's just this this is an old table that i have under here and it has a, a little lip thing right there so those are sitting sitting in there so anyway coming fan gonna go get some tea another pair of gloves these were the gloves I was wearing the other day but they they still got water in them so I guess I'll go get another pair of gloves and get started before it gets extremely too too hot out here 
I didn't show you earlier, this was the brush that I got all the bristles off, the bathroom brush, but I have learned to make a new tool out of it. If you notice, get where you can see it, all the cat hair. Oh, the cats are loving it. They're loving me rubbing this down their brush, their backs, and plus it's taking a little of the shedding off. So, yeah, new tool from from bath, the bath brush that I cut all the bristles off of. Okay, I think I've had enough for today. <laughs> the cactus, oh, my feet are wet. The cactus are actually looking a little bit more like cactus. sealer on them. Help seal them. Get them painted. Still not really sure what I'm going to do with my cactus flower. But, uh, yeah. Put that in here because I don't want the rest of them to blow away. Those little boogers are hard to, to handle the, the things. <laughs> you can just pick one or two up. You can't pick up the whole thing. Uh, I did have a little bit enough left to go ahead and get the ladybug pot on its back. And I stained the, the front of the, uh, the leaf. I may come back with a little metallic and give it a little bit of a highlighter. And drink all my tea. And I've got that going on there to kind of stabilize that pole before I do a drape deal. But it's hot and I haven't eaten all day so I think I'm done for the day. Okay, some of my September projects that I've gotten finished is the crocheted uh, dolly sort of thing that I made that I wanted, wanted the big heavy ruffle on <clears throat> to make a candle holder out of. Turned out fantastic. I actually have another crochet project <clears throat> that I'll combine crochet with uh, with the cement to uh, make a flower pot. But this can be used inside or out. Nice heavy weight. Uh, I did it kind of with a burgundy red and, and bronze highlight that as you see is nice and shiny. Picks up the light of the candle. And I brought it out here to do pictures of it so uh, I can actually turn lights off. Yeah, oops, get a finger in it and you can see it better. Really, the cement's pretty solid up under there. There's a little bit of glow around through the bottom. I'm gonna try to do one that's higher up sometime so I can get more glow around the bottom but yeah you could put a big pillar candle in it if you wanted to but that's one of the projects i'll show you some of the other ones as i finish them up okay here's one of the other projects that i finished up for september this was my elephant ear leaf the surprise that i had left over uh cement decided to try try i have a little metallic on it and it is sealed. Uh, the stand I made out of that old metal stand that was out here, I just did a draped cement on it and uh, decided just to leave it cement and not try to paint it. It does have the sealer on it, but I'm going to let it just kind of grow its own little patina out here. This is removable. It's got the hole in it for drainage and I made holes in that so it won't hold water and bring mosquitoes to you in there straight. So now we're going to have to test it out. Put a little bird seed in there and see if the birds will come. Yeah, so that was another September project that got finished up. The bird feeder. Okay, here we go. Here's the ladybug that was done from a plush. Uh, not particularly liking the more burgundy red. I would have liked to have done like a bright, brighter red. 
but that was what I had. <laughs> and I didn't go get any anymore. So that's Miss Ladybug all done. She will be going out to the Saturday night live auction house. Here are the, the two cactus. These will be going to Georgetown next weekend. So, so happy that I was able to get them finished. I don't know if I can get up here close enough that you so you can see. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you can see. They do have the little thorns on them. Yeah, and those little those little thorns will stick you. <laughs> and that was my cactus flower idea that I came up using the bottle of the soda bottles. But yeah, you know. I decided to kind of looking at them from the back, they kind of look like a watermelon. <laughs> but I wanted to uh, to intensify the grooved area on them, so that, that's why that's there. Yeah, so the cactus is done. The other two cactus that I'm going to make for myself will wait for a later project. Well. This is going to be wrapping this video up. I just going to be out here uh, with my cactus and all. I'm not going to finish the rubber duckies with the mold, uh, molds that I made from the real rubber du duckies. We'll save that for another project along the way. Maybe, maybe the October projects because this month's just about gone. Just about gone. But I was so happy to get my cactus finished up because they're going to a friend in Georgetown next the next weekend, uh, and the other little projects finished on, on up. Uh, I will be doing some for my eBay shop, some of the small rubber duckies. Actually, the next projects might consist of using molds. I did get some of the liquid latex and tried making some molds but not really sure if i really care about doing that or not that it that is a very big process of making your own latex molds oh beautiful butterfly flying in hello butterfly uh, <laughs> any, anyway but yeah uh i've got other things i need to get started doing i've got a lot a lot of really pretty things for y'all to uh, for christmas some Christmas decoration, some Christmas dishes. So I have got to quit playing with the cement for a while and get some pictures taken and get these Christmas items listed up on uh, eBay, at my eBay store, so that uh, y'all can come over and see them. Cause you know, you know me, I like to find those pretty things for you uh, to decorate your house with. with and uh, I'm already, featuring fall items and Halloween items up there. So please be sure to come on over by my little eBay shop and, and check it out. You can go to eBay eBay and look for SB55. Whoops, door just shut. <laughs> and wind's getting picking up. SB55 Shoppy, S-H-O-P-P-E. Or you can just type in SB55 Shoppy, S-H-O-P-P-E dot com and it should redirect you right over to my little ebay store store uh, also if you enjoyed this video you know i'm i hope i didn't bore you any i know it's a little long but uh i know when i watch vid videos even when they fast forward through a lot of these processes like painting and stuff it's just like oh my god yeah you painted it uh-huh it's like watching grass grow <laughs> grow to me so I, I try not to show all those little details and do more of a like an overview of what i have done on the projects and show you the, some of the steps that i do on doing these projects and all so uh, if please if you like them give them a thumbs up uh write a comment in the comment section hit that subscribe button so i know people do like them 
and uh, I'll put a, I'll put a little link down in my uh, in the description to my eBay store to make it easy, easier for you to go over. And I just want to thank y'all for being there. I uh, love you all. I uh, hope you have a beautiful, colorful, pretty day. And stay safe. Wear your mask when you go out. And let's just keep everybody safe. So, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.